It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The QuakeCon 2007 Grand Final starts right here. We're going to go straight inside this game because Tox and Fox have valiantly battled to get all this way forward. Have uh, got themselves into the final. We're playing hub on QuakeWall. It's about to say Quake Wars. And Tox is already down by one to Fox. And uh, I'm joined by Puri. Puri, your two Swedish buddies here going up at it. And Fox is now up three to one. Yeah, Fox, uh, Fox got a better start and uh, it's looking pretty strong at the moment and uh, we'll see what happens next. Fox is, uh, we follow uh, Tox in fact on the screen as uh, we make our way through, he's on the uh, main walkway, now looks up the shaft, gonna rock it up to Fox, but Fox is rocket right down on uh, Tox's head. Here we go, Tox is gonna uh, dart out of there, does pick up the shaft off the board, oh, nice. but he will be taken apart and Fox is uh, trying to build up a big lead here already. Yeah, F Fox has control of the armor and the mega and uh, it's just... Uh, Racking off frags at the moment. Well, speaking of frags, the count is five to one here in the grand finals. Let's talk a little bit about the format whilst we have an opportunity. The way this is being played is you have to play all four quakes. You will then have a decider if necessary, but uh, it is basically first to three will win this tournament. I guess you could say best out of five to win QuakeCon 2007. And Tox is in trouble here as he may go one to zero down, but I guess that's to be expected in Quake World. Yeah, I think uh, especially on this map, uh, Fox is the favorite uh, before before the start, and uh, it looks pretty much as we were right. <laughs> yep. Now, uh, talk to me about you know the way this is going to break down. We're going to play quick one, quick two, quick three, quick four. Where are you expecting to see these? Uh, expecting to see the results go as Fox lands another rocket there on the Tox. Uh, I think uh, Fox is the favorite for Quake 1 and 2, and uh, Toxic might be the slight favorite for Quake 3 and Quake 4. I'm going to come back to your uh, comment there on Quake 3 in just a moment, but inside this game we are, and uh, Fox is uh, hounding down Tox there with the shaft. Going to go for another one off the spawn. Fox, uh, sorry, Tox will dart out of there, but he's not going to get there. And, uh, now it's going to be uh, Tox to uh, hit another one of uh, Fox's rockets. That will be oh, another frag coming in. Fox drowns him and uh, will take that frag. And this one is going away from Toxic very, very quickly. Started off cagely and he was actually holding it 1 1 for a little point, but now it has got very, very far away from Toxic. Yeah, Toxic can't even spawn. He's being uh, spawn raped all the time now. Fox is playing really well. I guess he's got to be happy with Quick World is uh, 10 minutes rather than, uh, <laughs> rather than 15 because uh, when he goes to Quick 2, it's going to be very difficult for him. Yeah, uh, Quake World has only played 10 minutes because of this main reason. It's uh, really, really easy to get spawn frags. Um, and you're seeing that now, looking at the scoreboard. There is, uh, well, some 13 frags, the difference already. There's just four minutes played. Yellow armor, uh, sorry, red armor collected there by Fox. Now going to uh, try and hold it, Tox off again. We'll push forward to it comes through. It is going to be Fox to take the frag there and down Tox. And this is now uh, Tox making, uh, Fox trying to make up for it. He is not going to do anything about it though. His shaft is just going to, well, his shaft is no no reply to Tox. No, if you have the, if you have armor, the shaft is so much, uh, it's pretty useless, useless to shoot against someone with armor if you don't have armor yourself. Well, at this point in time, it is getting very, very uh, one-sided. And, uh, you know, why uh, Why you came, you came and said that you felt that Tox may be able to take Quake 3, why do you think Tox will be able to beat Fox in Quake 3? Uh, especially since it's uh, campgrounds. Uh, I think Tox, that's Tox's, Tox's best uh, Quake 3 map. And, uh, I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I think Tox is the slight favorite for that, uh, for that map. Last time uh, Fox beat Toxic was in fact at ESWC in Quick 3, 2005. Fox told us earlier. Uh, sorry, Fox told us earlier. And, uh, now we're going to have. Uh, now we're going to see whether he can avenge that. And this is the big one. Tox will become a double QuakeCon champion, and not very many players can uh, uh, can attest to that. Let alone back-to-back -back QuakeCon champions. That would be huge for uh, for Tox right there. But you know, if Fox can pull out uh, the Quick Three win on DM6, then that's it, GG because he will go in with Quake 1 yeah. and Quake 2. I think especially in Quake 2, uh, Fox looks, looks stronger than Fox. In, I mean, uh, Fox looks stronger than Tox in Quake 2. And pretty much uh, Quake 3 will be a very, very important game for Tox if he wants to stay in the tournament or yeah. if, if he wants to have a chance to win. Fox was, uh, sorry, uh, Tox was saying earlier before that he did not fancy his chance in Quake 2 at all. And uh, he said that had something to do with you, that he uh, watched you and uh, well, he knew that you and Fox had played a bit. And uh, that was a bit more than uh, than he had been able to do. Uh, and uh, so he didn't fancy his chances in Quake 2. Uh, didn't have the preparation that he wanted. 
No, he the Toxie had not played Quake Quake 2 during uh, pre this event. He only played Quake 3, and Quake 4, and some Quake World. So he basically skipped Quake 2. Well, at the moment, you can see why he might have skipped Quake World as well, because uh, Fox <laughs> is desecrating him here. He's picked up a shaft and a rocket frag there. The scoreboard reads Fox 19, Tox 1. And uh, this is slipping away. I think there's only about three minutes left in this as uh, Fox, it gets, uh, Fox, it, yeah. Fox gets up to 20. This map is pretty much over already because uh, I don't mean to be boring, but it seems impossible for the Tox to pick this up. Yeah, Tox is just not getting anywhere near uh, uh, Fox at this moment in time. Whenever he's doing some damage, Fox is darting away, getting out of harm's way. He seems to be a little bit more mobile than his compatriot and uh, is holding himself up. There are three, four minutes to go here. Uh, Fox has got the armor and he has now got full complement of health. As he makes his way down. Well, Rocket shout out Tox as he comes out of the hyper, uh, comes out of the teleporter, and that is going to be what some 22 frags to one. Uh, it's what, what's so difficult about Quake World? What is so hard to master? Uh, if you come from uh, other Quakes, uh, basically, first of all, the movement is so different. If you haven't practiced the movement, you're just going to be a few seconds slower every time. And uh, the aiming is really direct, like uh, if you use shaft, you're dead in half a second. If you use rock punch, you're dead instantly. It's just, uh, it goes so fast, so fast uh, with the movement and with the weapon, how they are like used. So if, you have, if you're not used to it, you, you will get, that's what you get this game. <laughs> you see the difference will be playing more. Right, and to think that there were some players in this tournament who could make Fox look at him to, to what he's doing to Tox. Uh, is uh, quite surprising. I mean, it's interesting to see the, the big gulf between the uh, b between players in their own games. I mean, yourself, no one, uh, that Fox, for example, couldn't come near you on Quake 2. Um, let's talk about that game whilst we have you here, as uh, Fox just goes through the motions. In the, in the Quake 3 game on DM6, yeah. you were in that right until the last. Yeah, well, I thought I lost it, but then I regained control, and I was I, I was lucky with my chase, but not lucky enough. So it, it was a close game. It was just a three frag or something. I think considering that you lost to uh, Griffin in Quake Three, um, that you've got to be what was it, chance? Oh, chance! chance. It was chance. Uh, that you've got to be quite happy with uh, your performance against Fox. That uh, you really made that one go all the way. Yeah, uh, I really thought uh, I was I was happy that I you know gave Fox a good game in Quake Three because obviously he was probably the big favorite before the game and it was uh, yeah it was a pretty good game and I'm happy and to to side I had DM4 after the last map but. Here we go, Fox, lovely mid-air rocket there onto Tox as he was trying to escape, but you can run but you can't hide from Fox. Just 60 seconds left to go. It is, is that 38? 38 to 2. <laughs> Tox did get a second frag in there. How we missed it, I have no idea. As, uh, Fox is going to go through. He is uh, darting back away from Toxic, waiting on... Uh, oh, he'll shoot him down from uh, the gap on this red platform. Now I'm going to look to do that at one more time. Raider spawn. Fox uh, just a little bit off the timing that time around. However, with uh, less than uh, well, about 30 seconds to go, this is uh, not going to be a problem for him. There is a 30 second timer, and uh, this one is going to go the way of Fox here on Quake World. It's been, uh, well, it's been th something that I don't think Tox has had in a long time. No, it's been very one sided, and um, I didn't expect to be this big of a blow up, but apparently the skill is really big between these uh, two players in this game. It's been a while since I can say that Tox just got spanked. We'll be right back.